Now, fight. Champion. I'll have his head. I'll kill you for this. Oh, Rosalyn, dear, something could best be off. My father doesn't seem very happy. Rosalind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rosalind, Rosalind. Something about her. What's wrong with me? I, I couldn't even speak. Sir, that was awesome. unbelievably amazing. Yes, for real. But I just overheard the dude. He's pretty hyped about you being Sir Charles the champion. I think, I think it'd be good if we were out of here before you know something gruesome happens. <sighs> Alas! Out of the frying pan and into the fire. First, the rule of my older brother, Oliver, and now the tyranny of the false Duke Frederick. Come, young squire. I believe we should be off. Is that what I just said? <laughs> No, something about him. What was it, cousin? Was it his tragic family history or sword by Hakachirai? Hell, quiet! Mm -hmm. Evil girl! I want you out of this castle now! Me, uncle? You, niece. After everything we've done for you, you are lucky I don't just have you killed. Please, Your Grace, what is my crime? You're your father's daughter. That is crime enough. Father, no! Celia, speak not. I have the patience. Get out by tomorrow, or else. Rosalind, where will we go? We? I will have to travel to my father in the forest. Will we be separated? Never. You are my dearest friend. You and I will leave together at once to see your father, Duke Senior. It will be dangerous as two women traveling alone, though. Then we shall disguise ourselves as beggars. That should be us from attackers. Wouldn't it be better if I disguised myself as a man? I could carry a sword and strut like a man to hide my fear. No one would dare harm us. What will we call you in your disguise? Getting me, obviously. Then I will call myself Elena. Oh. My lady, I'm coming too! <laughs> mm. Ah, smell that pretty damn minstrel. Sure, it's a good thing I got banished, otherwise I wouldn't be able to enjoy this here nature. What about you? Yes, sir. There sure isn't as much stress out here. I wouldn't take this for anything. Yep. How about some of that venison for supper? Sure do love that deer meat, even if we do have to your Jacques Grevy over every little death. Yes, my lord. That grieving Jacques cries about every little deer. I saw him sitting by the river earlier, looking at a little deer, crying all morning. <laughs> Did he make a bunch of his observations? Yes, he said it was the perfect metaphor for the human Guess I'll have to talk to him after we get some grub. If I were dressed as a man, I'd see how tired I was. I'd see my feet were hurt and my back aches. I'd say I simply couldn't go on, but I can't because I'm a boy. You know, it's interesting how much you haven't said. <laughs> Excellent 
Phoebe, Phoebe, something about her. I love her. I wish she didn't hate me. Ah, oh, he's in love. <laughs> I remember that. The boy who loved me broke his sword on a stone. Apparently, the stone was being an insolent rogue and said it deserved death. Coming back to see his lady in love. <laughs> <laughs> The shepherd suffers from the same condition as I with Orlando. I wonder if we can get some food from him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Klaus! Shh! He's not your relative. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know where we can find some food for the weary girl here? I don't have any food, but the house over there has some food they probably wouldn't mind giving you. It's the house of Phoebe, the girl I love. She's so generous. Well, thank you. We appreciate your attention, and we'll be going now. Okay. <laughs> Come on, girls. You can never be sure, but they understand out here in the wilderness. City folks. <laughs> sing more. Sing more. But you are so sad our animals goes up. But can't you see? It makes me happy. I suck sadness out of the song the way a weasel sucks eggs. <laughs> <laughs> My voice is tired now. It won't sound very good. Let's see. It doesn't have to sound good. Just sing. Very well. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. <laughs> I'm as sad as song as I can muster. Well, I shall rest now, and if I can't, I curse all the firstborn children in Egypt. <laughs> Let's see. Where is she then? This way. No. This way. Yes, yes, yes. Um, must be this way. Yes, definitely this way. <laughs> Let me see. Your ankle's swelling. You couldn't walk on this even if you wanted to. I'm going to die. I will go hunt the animals. If I can find any in this wild, wild forest, I will either be food for them or bring them as food for you. Keep death at bay for a while. I shall be back shortly. And if I do not bring any food for you to eat, then I give you leave to die. <laughs> Let me help you to rest. I'm off! This way! <laughs> Wait, sir, I was just saying about time. I'm not going to die. <laughs> <laughs> 